Okay, so after you flushed, dumped your tanks, cleaned them with Dawn or uh, Cal Calgon and Dawn or Calgon and Pine Sol is one of the recommendations. Then you're going to dump your fresh water. So it's here under your slide. And you just pull the handle and the water comes out. So next thing you're going to want to do is make sure your propane tanks are off. And it says open, closed, open, closed. And they are off. So that's good. We'll close this back up. This guy up with a bucket, just like that. All right, so once you've got the fresh water tank drained, we're going to want to turn on the water pump and we're going to turn on a faucet. And we hear the water pump, which will hopefully stop in a sec. Okay, and we're going to turn on a faucet and just kind of let it until it starts splattering air. Turn on both sides. So that'll help make sure the tank is green. Okay, so now, it took a little while, but the fresh water tank is pretty much green because it's starting to blow air. So just kind of let that finish up and move on to the next step. So the next step is to get at the low point drains, which I believe are under this kitchen sink. And of course you have to remove the cat first. There we go. So behind the panel on the left are both the low point drains and the hot water tank bypass. So these guys here, try to point at it. That's one of the low point drains. That's the other low point drain. And those are the hot water heater bypass valves, which we'll do in a moment. So we're going to open these up and let the water drain out. There it goes. And that one are now open. All right, next is to uh, blow out the lines with some compressed air. So you get this adapter. Chris will know what this is. And you screw that on here where the fresh water, uh, fresh water, uh, city water, city water connection would be. And then we're gonna hook up our compressor. This is just actually a bottle that's filled with about 60 PSI worth of air. You don't wanna, you don't wanna go more than 60 PSI because that's too much pressure for the plastic plumbing. And I have to get this off and hook you up to here like so, and turn on our air, like so, and turn that into the So now we're pressurizing the plumbing with air. Okay, so now we're just going to blow out each line with air. Oh, we have that. Well, that's just, that's handy. that one. Ready? Mm -hmm. And next, we just want to see the air coming out. And that's good. We're trying to do both the hot and the cold side, and now we have to do the outside shower. All right, and the shower. All right, and then last, we're just going to open up the low point drains again. That's one, and that's two. All right. Next up is the water heater. Okay, so next we got to get at the water heater. There's a little, a little twisty catch thing here that you turn so that it's up and down and then you can get inside here oh there's a big bug in there look at that hey buddy oh it's a bunch of them mm, they don't we don't want those in there go away yeah 
Oh yeah, look at they got a little colony. A little colony going. Yeah. Well, that's why these screens are on here. I'm kind of wondering how they got in there, because you don't want bugs getting into the propane, and there some of bugs are attracted oh. to propane smell, especially like dauber wasps, those mud wasps. They like that propane smell. In the tank, so we have to get in here. I didn't need a socket quite this big. Oh, this is a one and one sixteenth inch socket is what we need. We're gonna loosen this guy up. Uh, hopefully. There we go. Water will start coming out momentarily here. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Told you it'll be messy. So then, to help it drain, you want to pop the pop that guy. <laughs> Oh, I know why it's going so hard. You still have air. I have air behind it still. Yep, okay. All right, so next, you'll, there's a little wand tool you can get that does this better. But we're just gonna, we're gonna spray water in here. Kind of rinse this out. <laughs> Best we can. get all these little little chunkies out all right next we're going to bypass the water heater so let me see if I can get my hand in here we have two valves one at the bottom one at the top and you just need to turn those guys to close them and you turn them clockwise and they are now both closed just like that all right, so now we're ready to put the anode rod back into the water heater. So first we're gonna wrap a few turns of Teflon tape around the threads. Do about three or four turns. And you wanna make sure you do it the right direction so that it doesn't unwind when you screw the thing into the, into the trailer. So let's just tear you right there. And let's go put it back in. And you want to be careful to not, are you, are you getting it? Mm -hmm. You want to be careful to not cross thread it because the thing has weight to it. So it wants to sag down in the, so you just want to very carefully get it started and make sure it's not cross threaded. And that is not cross threaded. And then we're going to tighten that down. Let me get my leg. Just tighten that in there. Hopefully, when we fill the water tank up again, it won't leak. And then close. Close your temperature pressure relief valve. And that is drained and ready for the winter. Okay, and one last thing before we close up the water heater. There's a switch way down in here, an on-off switch. And that's for the 120 volt AC. So we're going to turn that off. So we don't want to accidentally power that up with no water in it, because that would be bad. So then we can close this up, and we're also going to go inside and tape over the switch so nobody will turn that on. So yeah, just to be on the safe side, we don't want the water pump on, we don't want the water heater turned on, so we're just going to tape over these guys like so. And that way, they won't be accidentally turned on. Oh, and see, you don't want to let this happen either, Jenny. See how there's no water in there? There was. Yeah, so it means you're, it either wasn't closed quite right. Now there's still some air in the line, so we're gonna push that through. And hopefully that is gonna be sealed up. And we'll put some of this in there. And just 
put a little bit in there for the P-traps. This one, the tub. And the kitchen. Two drinks, huh? No. No? Just uh -huh. there? Yeah, it's with a mask. It must be one on both sides, exactly. huh?